Lork died in Los Angeles. And I got, you know, for especially stunt work and stuff like that, I got in my car, loaded the last dime I had. I was $80 short of making it to Louisiana where I'd already got a studio apartment in the wrong place off of a Craigslist ad. And on the way there, I pulled in, I, I'm driving across, and I'm driving an FJ Cruiser, which, you know, gets about 16 miles to the gallon. And then I noticed my fuel light come on. And you don't have a fuel light come on in Texas if you got any sense at all. And so I hit next fuel, fuel along the way, and I said 174 miles. I thought, ah, nope, I'm not going to go there. And I punch into GPS. Fuel near me. There was one 17 miles off the next exit. I thought, I got to take it. So I get off that next exit, and I go in, and there's this little gas station that has one gas pump that's 80-something percent, the one in the middle, not the low one, the high one, just the middle one only. One diesel that says number two diesel, so you know it's for tractors. And I go in... Uh, to pay and there's a cash register slash convenience store slash sports bar and these guys have a regular regulation arm wrestle table set up and they're having arm wrestles and I go back to go to the bathroom on the way back a guy says hey you want an arm wrestle and uh, uh, I said well he said, we're going for 20 bucks and I look at the table I'm seeing like five guys, you know, I got 20 bucks, four, there's my $80 that I'm short of getting there. So I said, sure. And I start arm wrestling. He'd win, I'm winning and going, uh, double or nothing and double or nothing. And I said, okay, well double, you know, double, you're doubling your 20, which is 40. So your bet is actually 80. I'm pulling shit tricky math on him and yeah, yeah, I don't know. I said, so we're going for 80 now. So I'm wanting to get done. Bang, go again. And they go, okay, double or nothing. I said, okay, 80, which is 160. We're going for 160 now. Double, you're doubling 80. Double what it means, you know, double. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, then he goes, double or nothing against this guitar. And uh, I should have brought that out. It's a ovation guitar, one like Glenn Campbell had. So I said, okay. And I'm thinking, this is going south real quick. This is going to turn into a fight. I'm a little podunk town. I don't want to. He goes, but you got to, you got to arm wrestle Mikey. I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to lose anyway. I decided already I'm going to lose, get out of here without, you know, conflict. So this guy, they holler back at this mechanic, and he comes out. He looks like Larry the Cable Guy on steroids. And so I'm sitting there, and I go, all right, we can do this. And he, he sits down, and I, I, I don't care. I'm going to lose anyway and let them keep their guitar, walk out of here without incident. Then I lock up the arm wrestle this guy, and his arms are huge. And that stupid question hits my mind. Can I beat him? And damn it, I just had to find out. Well, I beat him. I go, okay, um, well, I'll just take my guitar and leave now. And I take the guitar and I'm headed out the door and I'm thinking, oh, they're, gonna, they're, they're not going to be a fight. All of a sudden they come out the door and they says, hey. And I thought, okay, here it goes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually hit them with the guitar at this point. He goes, don't go back the way you came to the freeway. Follow this dirt road right here, and then it'll turn to blacktop, and it gets on the freeway right there, and you won't have to go the whole way back. Uh, uh-huh. Right. I'll follow this dirt road. It'll hit some dead-end road, and that's where they'll meet me and all gang up on me. So I get in my car, and I turn the GPS on. Well, GPS is telling me to go the same way they did. Well, that's odd. So, again, curiosity kills the cat. I follow it out. And sure enough, it goes down there and gets on the freeway. And that's where out on the road I made a discovery about myself. I walked in there 
judging these guys as they're assholes. This is going to turn south. I made I made a judgment call based on they're all rough looking redneck guys, just like me and the roles I play. They make a judgment that I'm a racist white guy. I said this is going to go south. I'm going to wind up in a fight. These guys are assholes. On the highway, I realized the only asshole in that room was me. 